world. Yeah, that's what. I, I like what kind of powerful does that feel like? I would feel amazing. Uh, for me, it's kind of an everyday scenario. Oh my god! <laughs> He's like, I'm just like walking around, well, running look, around. I, I grew up with the idea that I was the fastest man in the world, or I was gonna achieve it eventually. Yeah. Well, you grew up around a lot of actual Olympians. Yeah, a lot. Like, uh, so Gerald Miles, we're really close to the Clarks and the Miles family. Yeah. Um, Gerald Miles, um, Hazel Clark, yeah. uh, Joetta Clark, and then they're all trained by their brother, J.J. Clark. <laughs> um, but, the, you know, five-time Olympian, three-time Olympian, three-time Olympian. And you just grew uh, up around this. No pressure? Yeah. You didn't feel pressure? I just thought it was normal. I, okay, <laughs> that's kind of incredible though that you skipped over that and you didn't get nervous about it because you're just like, no, nah, this is like what we do. Like nah, everyone has yeah. around. And then my parents were both runners as well and you yeah. know, world champions and stuff like that. So, you know, again, I just thought, you know, running's in your blood. Can you, you know, imagine if you were slow? <laughs> <laughs> You know, what I'm you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody is so, and you're just like, I got it, guys. Like, it's like me and your family. That would have been really funny. I'm glad it didn't happen to you, though. I'm at Meadowlands Gymnastics Academy, and today I'm training with Olympic gymnast Brody Malone. This guy is only 24 years old, and he is so accomplished. Gymnastics, it's a very difficult sport. We train our whole lives to be able to do the stuff we're doing out there. Oh, gosh, Brody, what a pleasure. Nice to meet you. I am so happy to meet you. Yes, sir. When I watch the Olympics, I will say that is the one sport that baffles me. Did you know that gymnastics has been featured in every single Olympic game since the beginning? Have you ever done gymnastics before? Yeah, I, I, to be clear, never. Never? Never. <laughs> I want you to teach me everything. All right. Brody, show me what the rings are. Oh, I love the rings. It's truly a great place to hang out. Dude, that is so fantastic. Okay. Lawrence really wanted to do that iron cross. Wow, that's so high up. Let me do my bionic leap. <laughs> okay, I feel like the six million dollar man. All right, ready? One, two. Oh! Oh! There you go. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Brody, I'm yeah. doing the Iron Cross. Yeah. I'm doing it, right? Yeah, you're doing it. That's pretty good. You like my form? It's not bad. I guess it's great, right? Yeah, it's really good. I'll get down in one second. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. My first Olympics was Rio in 2016. Yeah. And that was pretty normal. like meaning fans and stuff like that. And then I was 2020 in Tokyo. Yeah. And that was quarantine. So you're in the hotel majority of the time. So I'm excited for my family to be able to come, my friends to be able to come. Energy of the live crowd. Energy of the yeah. crowd. Like we didn't have any any crowd in the last one. Um, I'm excited to like be fully immersed back into the Olympics. Yeah, the energy of it. it you feed off of it. Yeah. I think it probably makes, it makes me perform better. It's gotta mm -hmm. make you perform better in what Absolutely. you do as well. And speaking of Olympics, we have a present for you. Well, I, it's, not, it's not my show, but I have a present for you. Okay, I love this. Wait, what's my present? Wait, what? Yes. What? This is my favorite number. <laughs> Are you insane? I mean, like, which way is the locker room? I'm an athlete. <laughs> I mean, I hope you come to a, a game, and I, I also have I want another. To. Like, fun fact, it's just my time to shine here right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I have a tattoo on my side, and it says, what doesn't kill you makes you, makes you stronger. And it's like... <laughs> it's like... I'm not joking. I have a tattoo <laughs> on my side, my other side, that it's in Morse code, but it's, it's what doesn't kill you. I have See? it on my side. So, are we meant to be friends? Yeah, we're meant to be friends. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. So, not long ago, Fred made a video with the most decorated gymnast of all time, Simone Biles, and they tried copying each other's moves. This is hilarious because they're both incredible, but they can't quite yeah. do each other's things, which it's... is so funny. So, let's see how that worked out.
Yeah. <laughs> like, I would have assumed, yeah. like, because I'm dumb, I guess, I would have assumed y'all would have killed at everything. Yeah. But, like, I was like, oh, that actually made me feel better. It's yeah. funny because you think, you know, men's gymnastics, women's gymnastics, like, go hand in hand. You can do whatever they can do. But you switch sports, it's like starting from scratch like scratch again. Yeah, and they fun. should start those games. You yeah, know what I'm saying? When you have to happens. switch and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just saying, it would be, be funny. funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I do that in college a lot for fun, but I do it with other sports. Yeah. So I brought in football players and basketball players and taught them backflips. I gotta yeah. teach some singers. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll find some for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be meeting Lee Keeper and Garrick Meinhardt two Olympic medalists. And not only are they the best at what they do, guess what? My name is Lee Kiefer, and I am Garrick's wife. My name is Garrick Meinhardt, and I'm Lee's husband. I know! Are you ready? I'm ready. Before we sure. start. My name is Lawrence Jaren. You killed my father. Be prepared to die. <laughs> oh. yeah. That's terrible. We love the Princess Bride references. He really got into that role. I'm gonna just. Ow! <laughs> I'm good. Hold on. I'm fine. I can do it. We're good. Fencing with Lawrence was very interesting. <laughs> to be honest, I was a little afraid that I was gonna lunge too hard and maybe like catch him by surprise and hit him a little harder than I probably should have. But he moved well, kept up with me. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, oh. He got did him. you do that or did you do that? Never, 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 never. You so avenge good. your father. <laughs> so Sydney is the first woman to break 52 seconds in the 400 meter hurdle. <laughs> she is also the first to break 51 seconds. In fact, of this is crazy. Of the 10 fastest times in history, history, Sydney holds six of those records. <laughs> Incredible! I would feel like Captain Marvel. Like, oh we, yeah, I would. Do you feel good about going into the Olympics? You feel good about? I the, do. I listen. The competition is insane every year, so you always have to respect your competitors. Yeah. Obviously, feeling good, but the target is always on my back. So. Yeah. Just getting prepared for that. Do you though, do you, cause I, I, nothing like you, but I did grow up in sports and I was, I loved that the coaches were always like competing against yourself and yeah. your best time. Like, Absolutely. I, so do you think about that yeah. more so? Like, I mean, I try to run my own race. Yeah. Worry about my 10 hurdles, worry about my lane and yeah. You can't get focused on what everyone else is doing cause everyone has a different process. And yeah. so for me every day it's how can I beat myself? So what got <laughs> you into it, Victor? Um, so my dad and his twin brother used to break back in Mexico, and um, yeah. they actually taught me, my brother, and my cousin. Oh, that's yeah, so, so cool. I was introduced, it's like a family thing. I was introduced into breaking at the age of six years old, and I took it serious at the age of ten. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah. I'm always afraid. I love watching it, but I'm always like, someone is gonna break their neck. That's what I think. <laughs> I'm such a mom about it. Good luck to both of you. I'm so Thank stoked you. for Thank you. you. We're all gonna be watching and cheering. What? You got me something. Oh, you got me So that you can cheer us on while okay. we're competing. And so we have these. Well, you brought a lot of something. Wait, wait. wait.